Hi, welcome back to my vlog. I'm Victoria, and this is my vlog. And I'm in a giant wool sweater because it gets, it gets cold here on the coast, apparently. Well, it gets cold everywhere. This is my first winter in this house, and it's the house is 1915. It was built in 1915, and my handyman guy isn't sure if it's entirely insulated. I don't know. We're going to find out what's going on with this house this winter, but... It's still built in 1915, but I'm, honestly, for all the houses that I've been in that were built in 1915, this one's holding up pretty good so far. Like, it it really isn't that drafty. And, yeah, I'm, I'm hap I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but I did, I have added this piece of fabric to the door because I noticed there's a gap. And then... I'm probably going to add like a foam strip or something. I noticed there, there is a foam strip in the door, but I might add an, another foam strip. I don't know what to do. What about it? It's not, it's not a se severe gap. I, believe me, it's pretty tame. I've seen houses. I had, I was in this one house that was like so fancy and it had, the door was built so poorly and it had these major gaps in it. And everyone thought that house was so fancy, and that house was not fancy. And I'm glad I don't have anything to do with that house. <laughs> not the house I just moved from in Eugene. I liked that house. The one, I had another house for a while, but that's a whole other story. And, um, yeah, gosh, I don't want to talk about moving from Eugene. It's, like, bittersweet. I'm kind of sad, but... I am, guys. I'm just in a sad thing, a frame of mind right now. It's not kind of. It goes, it, it changes a lot. You know how it is, okay? With me, you've seen me before. Look, a fan mailed me this package back when I was trying to get the handles for um, my paintbrushes for the batik. And, like, the guy was just seeing... Like made made one out of a fishing rod, but honestly, it wasn't. It was pretty funky. <laughs> not what he made, and it, the metal of it was not okay. We're gonna open. I'm opening the package. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm not. I have mixed feelings about that situation. I'm sometimes I'm like feeling like a, oh the bamboo, how nice. Okay, I see what she's saying. Yeah. Okay, I gotcha. This is from, uh, I don't know if she's watching me, Lynn. Is it from Lynn? Mountain, okay. Glasses. Yeah, it is Lynn. Yeah, I got it right. Mountain Mail. Mountain Mail. Lynn from Play Placerville, California, or is it Plackerville? I don't know how you pronounce that place. Placerville, Plackerville. So this is what she's talking about. That's such a good idea, actually. I can put the paintbrush, because my paintbrush broke, right? Oh my God, it's such a good idea. I can put the broken brush. Wow. But how would I get it? I guess I could just, I have these little miniature screws that we could just screw. Lynn is so smart. Lynn, you are such a good batik artist. Should I give you your last name? Should I tell everyone your last name? I don't know, but she's from Pla Placerville or Plackerville. Isaiah, do you know how to pronounce? Is it Placerville, California? I've the, it sounds familiar. I don't know where it is. Somewhere interesting though. Should we move the camera? I'm so, so tired. You guys have this giant sweater, and last night's gym class was hard. Like I'm really sore today, and tired. And I'm in this. This is my outfit of the day. I mean, not the, the kitty is. Where's the cat? Okay, shiny boots. Shiny boots. Shiny boots. And work pants. Okay. And then a big sweater and a hoodie from Mitchell, Oregon, a place I did not purchase a commercial residential property. Uh, 
my son came home from high school and I'm like trying to socialize with him. He just wants to sit down and not do anything. And I'm like this and that and this and that. And he's like, I'm moving out when I, after high school. And I'm like, no, don't move. You can't move. And then I started to cry. Oh shit. Look, let's, I didn't, I haven't cried today, but I'm, I've thought about it. I have thought about it. This is such a good idea. Okay. Is my hair gonna make me cry? Maybe, but not really. My hair's doing pretty good today. I'm so sad. God, I'm so sad right now. Why? Stop being sad. I'll tell you why I'm sad. Here's what really happened, okay? But first, let's see if this fix fits the brush. Hold on. Where's the brush? Shit. Yeah, okay. This is one of them. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's such a good idea. Is this the only one? Let's find out. Yeah, do you see what I'm, look. What a smart idea because the fishing pole thing, the metal would like, if it, if you, you can't put metals, but I could literally like, God, that is such a good idea. I can't even deal with that. What a good idea that is. That is, ah, stop. That's such a good idea. That's crazy. And then I can cut this down to the right like length. I love it. I feel happy. Yeah, see, the bristles on this brush completely fell out while I was painting on a live stream when I had my workshop going. And I don't know where many other brushes are. That can't be the only brush. Please don't tell me it's in the... Oh, God, I hope it's not in the... I think it's in the wax. I'm not in the mood to turn the wax on. I haven't, I'm not in the mood to paint. I miss working. I miss life in general. I just haven't felt like working at all. I don't know what is going on with me. There's not... Is this the brush? I, this isn't it. No, this isn't it. Like, my eyes are actually not that bad. This is... Is it? But I like this. This isn't the brush. I think the, my brush that I need is in, it fell in the wax. Because I'm not seeing it in this pile of brushes. That sucks. That means I gotta turn the wax back on. <sighs> Guys, I just don't know. You know, it's like, I used to be, like if I told you everything, you would, Maybe gossip about me. Which, you may be gossiping about me anyway. Ooh, come on, let go, let go. Alright, I plugged that in, so we're gonna let that... I'll tell you why I'm sad. This is what happened. So, I'm in my attempt to work today. In my attempt to get some more, some new hoodies up online. Which I can't wait to get back into work, which I will soon. I just feel like I have so much travel this month th that I can't f focus on work. Until the traveling stops, it's like, I just can't, the lighting's bother me. I can't with the lighting either. And, oh, by the way, they're doing a fire. Can you guys see that? In the mountains out here? They're doing a controlled burn in the mountains. Looks so cool. I don't know if you can see. Isaiah, do you want to see the fire at night? The fire in the mountains? I don't want to edit this. Oh, I just, I, I don't want to edit it. Oh. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. That's crazy, isn't it? It looks like lava. It's doing a controlled burn in the mountains. Okay, just, they are, all right. Um, editing photos. Okay, editing hoodies, hoodie photos. All those hoodies I took with the hunter and his son and my son, we all went, did a photo shoot slash hunting trip. I don't know what that was going on. Actually, there was a herd of elk that we ran across on that trip, which is kind of interesting. It was scary, I mean, elk are huge. They sound scary. And 
Yeah, it was kind of cool, actually. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. Right. So, I wound up ha having to look at our, our pictures. And then that stirred a lot of things up. These are cool. Okay, I am stoked. Like, I don't even know where she got these, but what a genius idea. So, props to Lynn. Lynn... If you ever see this video, maybe I'll like leave these here. So every time I vlog, I'll bring them up. Um, yeah, so I wound up looking at our pictures, uh, all of our pictures that we took on that trip. I had to because I had to edit the pictures. I had to edit and delete all these dumb pictures. And then I was such a questionable photo shoot anyway. And I was questioning everything. And Oh, look, she wrote me a letter. I'm sending you some branches of our yellow bamboo reeds, trees. Okay, Victoria, I'm sending you some branches off our yellow bamboo trees. I place my batik brushes and jaunting tools into the ends of the bamboo to extend them. No sinking into the wax. It's amazing I can read this without glasses. Okay, it may work for your short and broken handles. You can... Then tape over them to ensure they don't come out. Or I have these like screws, these little mini screws. I can drill it and, and put the mini screws in. Good luck on all your business and enthusiast artistic endeavors. Your work is beautiful and inspiring. You can easily cut to give to size. Good luck. Love, Lynn. Something with a D. Okay, that's so cool. I read that without glasses too. That's amazing. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So, that's cool. Yeah, bamboo, that's the answer, you guys. And then you could just cut, because I only need to extend it that much. Anyway, we, so I, I ended up looking at our old photos, and the photos, like, made me sad. Yeah. And now I'm, like, back to square one. And then I tried looking at, you know, previous you know, in, infatuations that I've had to get my mind like balanced out and it wasn't working. So that sucks guys. Now I'm sad again. Can you believe it? I don't know. I'm not, it's not me. Okay. I put, I'm not the problem. <laughs> I'm not. This light is a bit, I don't know what you guys are seeing, but what, what I'm seeing this phone do is nuts. I'm going to get a new phone soon. Although I've been kind of winging it with the weird glare on this camera. It's been entertaining. <sighs> Where's the kitten? She's chilling these days. I don't know. She's getting slightly bigger. I think she's taking a nap. She, she sleeps with me in the evenings, like this around this time. Uh, yeah, so that's what happened. So I was sad about that. So that's the truth. So I was trying, I was trying to like reignite a previous infatuation and it wasn't, it wasn't kicking in. I couldn't get it to like override this, but I'm still cool. Like I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm good. Like it sucks, but I, I and then I'll just make a video, but I do battle with it still but life is large and we there's a big future ahead and there's a lot going on and i'm not alone really and uh yeah it's all good like i'm not, i'm not the one screwing up here <laughs> there's so much more i want to talk to you about we're just gonna leave it that that's it that's the best i can do today which was pretty decent i would love to see how much the wax melted and i'd love to show you the kitten she was sitting right here when we started the vlog. Where did she go? She's like hiding out. I don't know where she went. Yeah. It's, it's, let's see, is my brush even in here? It is. Ah, oh, shit, okay. Wax. Okay. 
Okay, that's just wax and gunk. But my brush is in here. Oh my God. There's also like a bunch of gunk. Ew. Ew. That's what you get. That's what happens when you have the unfiltered wax. Check that out. This is one of my favorite brushes. God, can you believe it was submerged in there that whole time? Is she sleeping in there? She'll sleep in this basket sometimes. Oh my god, the wax is like lava. Don't. Why is it doing that? Don't do that. Why is it doing that? It's making gurgling sounds. That's not right. Oh, stop it. Oh my god, no. Unplug, unplug it. I don't know why it's doing it. Where did the kitten go? Kitten! Maybe she's under. Kitten! I don't know where she went. Where's the kitten? I don't know where she is. She maybe went upstairs. Okay, let's see if this is, let's get this going on here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's crazy. I kind of like this one better though, because it's thinner. Nah, it won't fit it. It's gotta be, it's gotta be this one. Yeah, this one. That's cool. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. I, this might be the saving the day. I like this brush so much. I, you get really attached to these particular bristles, like certain brushes. Although this one is wearing down, but I'd really love to just like keep it rolling as long as possible. Look at it now, but I might, I'll cut it. I'll probably cut it to like right about here. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so fantastic. Thanks, Lynn. That does save, it does save the day. Okay, well, good. Uh, guys, I, everything is working out. Okay, everything is working out for the best. Okay, I do have a hopeful future. Okay, and I just don't know what is gonna happen or, or whatever, but we're gonna stay positive. And this vlog is helping me stay positive because, well, this is awesome, first of all. And I'm going to stay positive because I have a good feeling. Like, I feel like my future is good. And there's no reason to be too sad because things do work out for the better. And, you know, I'm like, I'm kind of sad. I, I'm not sad. I'm nostalgic about Eugene. I'm nostalgic about Eugene. And then also, oddly, I saw a YouTuber. We're gonna play with this pin cushion while I talk. That looked like my son, Bart, for a second. I, it just flashed flashed a reminder that he looked, this kid looked like Bart. And then I was thinking like, I should text Bart. You know, thinking like, yeah, I haven't talked to Bart in a while. Completely forgetting everything that happened. Isn't that weird? My mind will do that. It will like just forget and just it'll go back to normal normie mode and just think, oh yeah, Bart's in Eugene, you know, but, and then I text his brother and one of his brothers and, uh, I don't know. He is, he doesn't see it the same way I do, he, but he, I don't, but he's not, he just isn't mature enough yet to understand the way I, I see things. So I don't have a lot of grief talking about Bart, but I know that his brothers do struggle with it a little bit. And I try to help them. 
and with the best I can, though they do struggle to listen to me. So I simply live my life by example, and then that gives them a sense of hope. So regarding Bart, but yeah, it's tough, but I don't know. I just, I don't believe it the, it the way the world wants me to see it. Like I, I'm going to see him again and I'm, I'm glad I'm happy about that. And I'm like, well, are you sure? Look, it goes against everything everyone wants to tell me about. And they're, they're expecting a certain outcome from me, a certain behavior. And I don't, I just don't, it didn't affect me that way. I don't, I can't comply. I can pretend and give you, a, you know, what you, I think you want me to do, but I can't actually like by myself, like sitting by myself. I'm not, I'm not deeply entrenched in grief. I don't totally believe it. The things I listen, I follow my instincts better. So that's why. I follow my instincts and okay. And also shout out to God. And I just want to say hello. Thank you for everything. And shout out. This is, I want to acknowledge God. And uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking about on that level. So, yeah, God ensures me that everything's going to be fine. So, I'm glad I made this video. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I, I hope I got all the right angles. My hair feels softer today. I'm using this stuff. I can show it to you. I don't feel like showing it to you right now. I will in another video. We already, we already explored these awesome things. So cool. I'm really going to try this. I think, I think I split the wood right here. But it's fine. Bamboo's strong. I can always cut it. I'll find it. one of these will work. Yeah. I don't think it's going to split like bamboo's st strong stuff. All right. I'll use it and give you guys an update. Okay. So cool. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. I mean, I guess I kind of want to hang out with you. Just sit here. Just chill. There's nothing deep to talk about. I don't have any life lessons to give you or just eight things you're doing wrong or five ways to do this or shocking discovery of something to discover. Nah, it's boring. Good, good old boring real life going on right here. <laughs> um, I made uh, spaghetti tonight for him, my son, Isaiah, um, and he enjoyed that. He ate that. He's having a great time in the kitchen with his laptop and some game. Weekend, it's the weekend, so he's got that. He's doing well in school. Uh, I didn't go to the beach today. I'm tired from yesterday. It was a, a big day. It was fun. All that driving and the dancing and I'm like legit tired and yesterday I changed my bedroom around and it looks pretty cool and I like and the cat likes it and um yeah I'm just dealing with it but I'm actually kind of hopeful yeah I'm hopeful look God has me set up this way for some reason so I'm just gonna wait it out see what happens see what is going on yeah. All right. It's good to see you guys. I mean, I don't, seeing those pictures affected me, guys. But I'm holding down. I'm not. I'm not caving in. Okay. I'm not gonna do something that I don't feel is right. I said my prayers about it. Oh, we're good. Okay, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Pretty chill. Maybe I'll come back soon. I don't know. It's like, I'm a little self-conscious of how boring my vlogs are. Um, but they're, you know, so it's where I'm at. It's where I'm at in life. I hear dogs barking. Uh, maybe the neighbor's taking the dog for a walk. Okay. Have a great... Until next time, okay? Have a great, like, YouTube browsing, okay? I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I was browsing and I saw a video that said, you gotta post a video, and I was like, oh!
fine, I'll post a video. Isn't that funny? How social media influences our lives like that? God, I totally got a solution for this brush. All right, thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.